numbers are so low. Preston Crane is just and finishing his now, training. In this, in this type of screen, now we can see how many hours. Soon he'll be running all of this. The controls, the pumps, the filters of Slate Falls First Nation's new water treatment plant. Producing crystal clear water from the murky lake just outside, the first clean tap water here in 14 years. What does this mean to you and your family personally to have clean water? For health reasons, yeah, you don't have to worry about your babies giving them a bath and then having them have beaver fever. A parasite known as Jaradea. E. coli, cryptosporidium were also real dangers here in the lake, while the old system wasn't much better than a kitchen water filter. At $11 million, this plant clears up one community. But across the rest of the country, there are 81 other long-term boil water advisories on First Nations, with a $1.8 billion promise to fix them all by 2021. They aren't all cookie-cutter fixes. Slate Falls plant was designed specifically for the community. <laughs> the minister in charge admits it's a tall task. We are firm in our plan to make sure that every long-term drinking water advisory for public systems like this on reserve will be lifted by March of 2021. This is a, an accomplishment. Yes, there's still work to do. But Ontario's chiefs say communities will need help with maintenance, training and setting standards. We're going to need sustained commitment from the government, not just build the system and, and walk away. Experts in water safety say that's key. Without it, this is all wasted. Sometimes in the process, you lose sight of the long-term sustainability of um, ensuring that the solution lasts for a very long time. Right now at Slate Falls, the long-term funding is still being worked out. The government says it will be there. For now, Crane is just focusing on running that plant. Uh, that's a lot of weight to carry, but I think I could do it. Yeah. After all, he's filling everyone's cup. Cameron McIntosh, CBC News, Slate Falls, First Nation. So great news for Slate Falls residents, but what about elsewhere? As Cam mentioned, there are currently 81 long-term drinking water advisories still in effect across the country. They affect public water systems on reserves, which are financed by the federal government. A whopping 50 of those advisories are in Ontario, just two in Atlantic Canada. The federal government has committed to ending all 81 advisories by March 2021.